I want to welcome everybody um, that is watching. Um, I'm delighted to have you here. Hi, Vicki. It's good to see you. I'm so, yeah, you say, oh, it's hard for me to read that. Anyway, this is a really cute card that I have, and it's a cute set. And I look forward to showing you how to make this card. I'm using directions um, for cutting and measuring directions um, by Lisa Curcio. She shared a card, um, a, a card, well, the W fold um, card uh, technique is a common one, but I used her measurements for um, parts of the card. So let's get started. If you leave a comment, I appreciate it, uh, but I won't be able, once I start stamping, I have a hard time um, being able to stamp and watch at the same time. So this is the card we're going to make. It says, Say Boo and Scary On. And when you open it up, it has like this. And this is what is the W. Do you see the W? W, like that. And so this is what is called a W fold card. And I'm going to be using um, the dies, which are Scary Silhouette dies. I'm going to use this one to cut out the frame. If you use both pieces, it cuts out this. If you only use this, it will cut out of like a card front. It will card, cut out this part here. When I got the bundle, I th I was a little bit disappointed that the little kids are not, there's no dies for them. But being as how there's so much detail to the outlines, I think it would be difficult to have a good die. One of the dies is this haunted house. And then there is a black cat. Oh, let me bring it down here. There's a black cat or a cat. It could be any color cat you want. But it's an arched cat with his back arched. Three different sizes of bats, two of the large ones, a medium size, and three of the small. It has a moon, and it has a label. So that's the, those are the dies in the bundle. And then this is the stamp set. So cute. So, so cute. I love the little boy with his lantern on a stick. I love the girl. She's a fairy. And I have seen this stamp used with a, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the set right now. It has trees in the front, um, and she's floating through the trees. Or you could have her floating through the uh, middle flowers. And a little boy with his trick-or-treat thing. And we have a zombie. Mm, that's not what he's called. Igor, I think. And then the trio of kids. Anyway, the greetings are Cebu and Scary On, Love at First Bite, Happiness, and Trick or Treat. Okay, so Love at First Bite, he's Vampire. And I'm uh, not quite sure what that one is. I know, it's, it's the guy has his head sewed back on, but I can't remember what he's called right now. And then I am using the next to the largest of the deckled edge rectangles I'm using this one here for the front of the card. Okay, so the pieces. This is four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half to make a card this way. I have seen these made with the vertical alignment so you could have it like this, and you raise it up, and then your panels come down this way. So that's the card base. And then the card front is Mango Melody. And I cut it out with that die, deckled die. And then I'm using the tree 
from the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. And I'm using the Bear Tree for that. I don't know why they retired the dies that go with the set, but the but there was there is a retired set of dies that will cut out this tree. I didn't use it because you guys can't buy it anymore. Okay, so then and then I stamped the trio of kids on the front. And I'm going to be putting the label. Okay, I already already stamped and punched out the greeting. Okay, here we go. Search, search, search. Thought I had everything ready. Well, for Pete's sake. I won't keep you waiting. Now. We'll move on. And maybe I'll just take the one off the finished one and put it on the to show you how it goes. Ah, here it is. It was hiding. So there's the label. And then I have one of the trees. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll mount that. Onto the card front. This is Cajun Craze. Like that. And then I can put the greeting on with Stampin' Dimensionals. Say boo and scary on. Okay, and then we'll set this aside. Okay, now on the inside, I used basic gray, and I'm going to stamp trees. I used basic gray because the to get the idea that it is nighttime or early evening when the kids go trick-or-treating. And I'm going to just randomly stamp trees across the back of it with Memento ink. This is my favorite color of black ink because it does not stain stamps. Now I discovered after I stamped the first one that a lot of the trees are covered up by the panels here. So I'm not going to put some of any trees down low like I did on that one, but just kind of keep them up high. Yeah, maybe I will put some down below. Oops. Mm -hmm. Nice thing about photopolymer is you can line them up. It looks like I stamped it twice. Put one more here. Okay, so there's one of them. I really, the photopolymers are my favorite for stamps because you can see exactly where you can see whether you've got good ink on them and you can see exactly where you're putting them this basic gray is five and a quarter by four inch pieces two of them Sorry, I didn't think to tell you that to start with. Yeah, 
think that'll do. That'll do. And then we'll put them on the inside. I ordered three of these Stampin' Steel re refills, and one of them that I opened just recently must have been rolled on backwards because the sticky part's up here and the smooth part is down on the bottom side. And I keep forgetting to call Stampin' Up! to get a replacement. It may be too late because they generally want to do that within 30 days. But I'm going to try. Okay, so we'll set that aside for a while longer. Now the mechanism, this one, is one and three quarters by 11. And we're going to score it at two and three fourths. And three fourths, five and a half, and then directions say eight and a quarter. But I'm going to turn it around and do it two and three fourths again because I'm lazy and don't want to bring out the extension. This first one is going to be a mountain fold, and then two valley folds. And this makes your W. See the W? I look at it that way. W. Okay. So then I'm going to put my panels on. I have to finish one of them. To save time, I went ahead and did the meticulous um, gluing. What would be ideal, and I always forget to do it, is to put their um, adhesive sheets on the back. And then you don't have to put little drops of glue all over everything. Now, I pre-stamped these, all of these. Um, and I had tried a couple different ways to get a good solid image, but you'll see I didn't succeed. But these look solid because I took a Stampin' Blend Basic Black Dark and I colored in where it didn't stamp. And I know you're supposed to be able to sand, lightly sand these solid image stamps so that the ink will stamp soak into them, I guess. I haven't done that, but I did try using Versamark to uh, get it to stick better, and that didn't help at all. And I did re-ink my memento pad so that it is nice and juicy right now, because that makes a difference too. Maybe it's too juicy. But this fixes it pretty well. Especially if you have a steady hand. Instead, sometimes I tend to jerk and then that makes makes it really bad. <laughs> okay, so that fixed that one up. And this is the frame. And it fits just right. Oh, I cut out these. The um, Mambo Melody, no, not Mambo Melody, Mango Melody, using just this outside die. So 
So we'll use small dots of glue. This one, this liquid multi-purpose glue is pretty well trained to give just small dots. Some of them are rather give big globs. It's kind of a fine line between getting globs and getting nothing. And I want I like using the liquid purpose liquid multipurpose glue because you have time you can slide it slightly if you don't have it lined up perfectly. And where you're putting black against the mango melody it shows if you don't have it lined up well. Well, that time it worked well. Okay, now I'm going to add these to the panels. A little, a little boy, although he's carrying this light, eh, maybe I'll put him in front because he's got the light. And I'm just going to put a couple strips of seal in the middle here and line it up in the middle of the section as, as well as I can. Okay. And then we'll have the girls next. And if I put it on the back, that would, of the panels, that would be okay too. But So next trick is to get her lined up. So she's pretty much along the bottom. Same as the other one. That looks close. This bundle, this um, the scary cute bundle, is my bundle of the month for the month of September. If you buy this bundle from me, I will send you for free five tutorials on how to make of cards you can make using the bundle, and this will be one of them. Okay, so there, there's our W, and there's our kids. Off to trick or treat. Then we put it into here. We're gonna put adhesive in this one, and on the last one. them to be right along the bottom. That looks like it's about in the middle. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, you know what? I think I want them further out. I think I'm going to put it more out this way so that these two center panels aren't quite so folded close. Yeah, it's not sticky under there so they won't stick shut. There. Okay, a little bit more embellishments. Forgot house on the front.
And then we're going to put the moon on the inside. Oh. And this one has the adhesive sheet on the back of it. See, it's got kind of a white thing. Makes it so much easier to put small pieces on. And what I mean to do, but I don't ever quite get it done, is to take about a, at least a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cards of a color and actually put it on right away. Okay, put that through the hoop. Put it on and have it there so that when I do need to cut out small pieces, it's already there. In the case of these bats, I did not have it on my black. little teeny tiny bats ah, get on and stay okay so there we have a finished card if you want it you could, if you were making a different card, you could take a length of ribbon and run it along the back and tie it on the side to hold it shut. But it stays shut fairly well by itself. It will take a little more postage because it is a little bit thicker. But I think it's cool. And it sits up so nicely on your shelf. So the base is four and a quarter by 11 and, and scored at five and a half. The basic, just the basic card with the side fold and the um, landscape orientation. And the strip is 11 and I use one and three fourths, but you could have used a skinnier one. And these panels, as long as they aren't as wide as your folds, uh, you can use about any size for it. Just a wide variety of things. If you go on Pinterest, you'll find all kinds of ideas with this type of fold. So this is a W fold. And then I have, to, in contrast to it, um, if I can find the card, oh, I probably gave it away already. There's a W V, um, a W V fold where you have the card the card front is scored again and for and forms the w and then you have a v let me see if i can find it Nope, I must have I must have given it away. Anyway, so this is the V the W fold card. Very easy to make and very cute. I thank you for watching. This is Sue the Soggy Stamper. Um, my email address, if you have any questions, is Sue at soggystamper.com. My blog is www.soggystamper.com, and my online store is Creations by Sue. And I want to remind you of the weekly deals. Each week in September, they have some new deals um, with a small discount on a variety of different uh, things. Um, if you didn't get in on the 15% sale on stamp sets yesterday, I'm sorry for you. Um, it was quite a deal. All the, all the stamps in the catalog pretty much were on sale. Uh, anyway, my and my online uh, my well, 
my YouTube channel is the Soggy Stamper. You may wonder about the Soggy Stamper and why that. I started this when I was in Southeast Alaska. It's in a moderate rainforest and we get like 90 inches of precipitation a year. Lots of it, most of it in rain. And so, yeah, I felt kind of soggy up there. Then you walk around and everything's kind of squish, squish, squish. And that's, so that's where I came up with the Soggy Stamper. Thank you again for watching and, uh, and we'll see you next Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. We'll see what we come up with. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.